Yeah. Okay, welcome back, everyone, to... God, what episode is this? The 98th episode, I think? I Jesus, think there's only two episodes left till the 100th, and we haven't even yeah. arranged anything. Yeah, because, like, I don't know. I mean, you have no... Uh, you see, it's always you have now. You have yeah, now. you know, like, if I suggest it's, it's anything... Qu it's, qu it's quite uh, high, the, um, the, the uh, ear headphones. Listen, whatever I suggest... I mean, the headphones, yeah. One, whatever two. I suggest, it comes with a no answer. So any suggestion, any, you know, oh, I'm saying... So, it must be so good being just so right all the time or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. It yeah. Does. So me and Hannah just back from Barcelona. Did you have a good time in Barcelona, Hannah? Um, I did have a good time. I uh, went so Very narrow streets in Bar Barcelona, especially in the Gothic Quarter where we were. And uh, we heard about this thing that, uh, you know, the Barcelonians are complaining about all the tourists. But the idea, I think, is that those streets are like it's really narrow, big, tall buildings, narrow streets. And the port is just beside where we were staying. And those big cruise ships come in and some of them can carry as much as 10,000 people. Yeah. I assume like 10,000 tourists aren't all pouring out of the ships. But um, if there's thousands of people just heading into that particular area, it'd be, it would be a fucking nightmare. So they're not against tourists per se. They're against, you know, uh, just big clumps, big, big load of tourists coming in mm. all at the same time. You know, with their fanny packs and their fucking, you know, but, whatever. But, you know, those uh, narrow streets. So I just like to, I just like to say, uh, you know, quarter. But, the, you you know, you, in other in other areas of Barcelona, the streets are enormous. Oh, right. They very grand. Yeah, yeah the Ramblas, the Ramblas to me. Well, I was only there for a second, but uh, I mean, the Ramblas, it, it's kind of like uh, Grafton Street on steroids. Just this. It's like two, I don't know, two kilometers long. And, um, it's, you know, you just have people walking up with expectation and then they get to the end and they look a bit defeated i mean i don't know there's well, lots they of have to walk for a long long time <coughs> uh, i did two gigs in a place called the red garter the red garter the first night was good the second night didn't sell that many tickets so i just for, for the crack for the crack uh, decided to uh, go out and hand out flyers and i went into two irish pubs and like it was so humiliating like you go into I, I don't know what I can't even I, I'm not interested enough to, to know the fucking Irish pubs there are Irish pubs in every country in every city right they are in Elblong yeah and I'm of from. course they're not Irish pubs because they're not, not in Ireland but they're uh, decorated to look like Irish pubs and uh, they, they have a few uh, disgruntled uh, Irish employees behind the bar but anyway but they're um, usually fun right well anyway I walked into this other place and there was this big group of Irish guys and I go up to them and they could they if they could have been <laughs> any unfriendlier like they just they're just like the, like that. I'm doing a, I'm doing a, you know, a, a comedy show. I mean, look, we're, you, you know, you can see I'm fucking Irish. You see a, a guitar on my back. You could have supported me, but instead you gave me this sort of we're from the country and you're from Dublin cold yeah, shoulder you're bullshit. Yeah, D four up your Anyway, ass. fuck those guys. The future of this country is in severe jeopardy because of their attitude. Uh, so whoever you are, and and uh, you know, you pretended you didn't know me. You probably didn't. Maybe you did, but no, one maybe of you, one, they of, genuinely one didn't of it, know. one of the group must have known. And when I left, no, I didn't. That, that's a fucking idiot. You know, fuck you and fuck David. your group and fuck your little traveling and big groups. Maybe going you to know Barcelona, that and, and also they're not integrating into the Barcelona society. They just go to a fucking stupid Irish bar. Cunts. Excuse my language. David, maybe you are not that famous. <laughs> as you think you are. Uh, so you know what I mean. So anyway, uh, yeah. So the, so the, so the gigs went. The, the Thursday night gig went well, and uh, it is kind of quite touching um, when you see people, you know, outside of Ireland, uh, you know, um, in in a city like Barcelona, coming together and supporting you. I I I did like it, and and I think it went well that show, wasn't it? Yeah, the first show show on Saturday went <clears> really <throat> well because. Um, of course, uh, the bar itself was, it was like a, an auction room in a way. The, the stage was very high and there was an audience there. I, and I an thought audience it was there. like a fighting ring. Yeah, like, like a weird fighting ring. But listen, um, but, you know, we went over, Hannah and me stayed in a hotel. Hannah, and we stayed in separate rooms, just, just in case anybody's wondering. Yeah, of course I stayed in separate rooms. Why do you say of course? Because we are not in a romantic relationship. Yeah. And I have a boyfriend. <laughs> so. And that's the 
That's why we're not <laughs> together. <laughs> 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 um, well, okay. Well, the big news. I did this. Po- okay, so that was great. Uh, so uh, you know, two nights. But it is, it is amazing. You know, jumping and, and it's great to fly Aer Lingus. By the way, I, I much prefer flying Aer Lingus. Oh yes. Right. Yes. Yes. There's not this. You know, you walk there's, in. There's no. Uh, there's no hassle. It's all th- dreamy. There's no hassle. They they actually welcome you. They give you. Um, Smiley faces. Point the camera at your mouth, will you? Because it's pointed over at your arse. Oh, you stop. Just, just, just point it at your mouth, Goopy. Look, and also there's, there's I, I no do it automatically. And your one's like this, look. The one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I really just, like when you address a woman day one. You I know? wasn't dressing... I wasn't addressing uh, I wasn't addressing you because of your gender. I was addressing you because of who you are as an individual. The one. The one. <clears throat> the one and only. Okay. Oh, but God, also, you make my, you make my legs itchy. <laughs> Woo! I'm, I'm so like... itchy with you. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Listen, Erling, ha- the, the seats are bigger. Well, and I'm... you can <clears throat> recline as well. Yeah, it's just less stressful. I, I, I'd rather pay more money. I have no interest in flying that lunatics airline. What's his name? Ryan Air. Ryan O'Leary. M- Michael O'Leary. You know, jumping up yeah. and down. You know, he's he's all over his business plan. Go away, go away with your hysterical airlines. And you know, you have to, you have to, you have to like get a get a bus from wherever you land because you know. Anyway, yeah, I prefer Aer Air Lingus. Okay, so we went to Barcelona, but you know, two and a half hours, and you're into a completely different city. Hola, qué tal? Hola, Patricia. Hola, and they're all speaking Spanish. And uh, mm, well, I didn't really see anyone. <laughs> I just wa- wandered around. I, no, there was a night. I like uh, the I like the Hesperia, the hotel we were staying. Hesperia. Very, very small rooms, but there was one little tapas bar. Very cheap and cheerful. Lovely people. Mm. Very sound. Oh yes, and I'd like to give an honourable mention to the guy who worked in the Red Garter. The manager. His name was Gustavo, and he was fucking great. And he was sound. And he he's one of those type of guys. Takes the thing seriously, and and he could see me that I was a bit panicky and freaked out because of the shape of the room. The sound wasn't working. This guy was fully engaged, and I couldn't thank him enough. I should have given him a fucking tip, Hannah. I didn't even think about it. Stupid guy. Well, you can always revolute him some money. Let's not go that far. But uh, <laughs> also, uh, and, and by the way, Revolut can fuck off as well because it was such a nightmare. Monzo, Revolut, they're all disasters. You know, well, they, they're all they checking would... you. Send your tax receipts. Fuck off. Uh, uh, what am I, a criminal? Anyway. They never asked me about tax yeah, receipts. Yeah, I know because you did. Okay. But anyway, uh-huh. sorry, uh, Gustavo. He made, you know, you know, that you meet certain people and they restore your faith in humanity and it makes the trip worthwhile. And actually all the staff were actually sound, although there was a nice girl, actually. And there was two guys in the Irish bar who were very nice. Uh, I'm not shitting all over Irish bars. But anyway, so that that's good. Uh, yeah. So, the, oh, yeah, there was a nice little tapas bar, although I was kind of a bit I've ordered too much. Oh, yeah. You're panicking. I was panicking. You want to eat a lot. Yeah, Your but no, they, they made they made paella, which was very delicious. Yeah, with chicken. Oh, you should make it with fish. I think so. Yeah. If you want an authentic one. Yeah. With seafood. And there's always saffron in paella. But the weird thing about the, a place like Barcelona, I mean, definitely the, the uh, that quarter, the quarter, the, the, the Gothic quarter. I mean, you, you can you can kind of can't, you can just look at stuff, you know, I, I'm just. I've had enough with looking at stuff. I want to go into places to hang out and meet people. And you can't really go any. You can't go into these. Ha- they're all these big, giant, huge apartments. They look really cool. Can't What's go in it? any of them. But what? Do you want to go to somebody's apartment yeah. and hang around? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to sit on a fucking terrace. I want to sit on a terrace and just hang out. I mean, you just, with who? You just, you know, you're, you're they sh- don't know you. <laughs> what do they do? You know, you know when cows are, you know, they ch- they're channeled around the place. What, what do they call them? I don't know. Cows channel around. You know, you know when it, 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 it funneled, you know, cows are funneled in, in you know, they, they have these just little cattle herders. Well, know. it's just like you just that's what the little streets are. You just go there, go there, there, there. You can't go. You can't hang out anywhere. Well, you can sit at the obviously you can but sit at cafes bars. and bars. Yes, 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 yes. But there's a the, like the majority of the city you can just look at like every city, like every place. We think we're free. We're not. We're prisoners just walking around looking at things. So, I, I don't so know. I, you know, I'm, I'm just against, you know, this was built in 1487. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. 
1487 and if I was there at 1487 and they were building it they'd be going fuck off yeah, because this is you for rich people. Peasant. Yeah, I know. You, so it just puts you in the field. I know. So it just reminds you of you know a place you can't go Pick into. Potatoes. Would, just, you, would you like sit at a local bar and try and make friends with somebody and then try and get into the apartment that yeah. way? Yeah. Or also, uh, there's <laughs> definitely a Barcelona. The, the the women in Barcelona have definitely a look. They're quite tall. I thought Barcelona women, or maybe it was just in that section, but they they look very athletic and fit. Yeah, and, and gorgeous. Maybe there was very much international crowd. Was it? I think so. Yeah, a lot of joggers for some reason. Did yeah. you notice that? Yeah, d- definitely people are healthier looking. Yeah, in general, either yeah. tourists or. But it's local. nice to know you can just pop over to Barcelona, two and a half hours. Let's go, Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Let's you know, it. Barcelona is a vast city. Oh, and I'd like to, you know, because Hannah didn't want, I, I want to rent an e-bike or an e-scooter and just zoom around the place and just, you know, do my own thing. And why didn't you? Because, you know, you. Because me, <laughs> I went on a bus for a few hours. Yeah, God, but you I, couldn't, I couldn't think of anything worse. A hop on, hop <laughs> fucking off. Fuck on, fuck off bus. <laughs> it's just like, and I then you go, this is, uh, this place was built in 2051, 3089, <laughs> 1599 by <laughs> Alessandro de Huelo de Bango. And he, you know, he gave uh, this amount and he started this. And oh, thanks so much, mate. But you see, Barcelona is is, is really big city and it's in a valley and there are two big uh, hills on each side. So I managed to go on both of them and the views are uh, amazing. Just like you wouldn't be able to do it otherwise. And the port, the the amount of fancy fucking yachts, Daniel, in that port. Oh really? Yeah. Oh fuck. Char- we, we we found there were charter. Yeah, yachts. there were some charter yachts, but there were some seriously like enormous. Yeah, but but you know, like if you, the house that you live in, folks, it's like having three houses floating on the water, and those master cabins that sit at the front of the yacht, and they've got these big semicircle uh, things, and you just in your bed. You know, just floating into the sea. I don't know. Um, but I often I often think to myself, you know, rich people, you know, how much I mean, obviously, it's great. You know, there's things that you can do that are completely just the rest of us can't do. They can just they can go into these houses that I, we can just I can just look at. They can just buy. They the can house just buy the fucking house. And look but at this and drop ultimately, it. Ultimately, is their enjoyment of life any greater than I've said like Oprah Winfrey? The way she infuses enthusiasm into things. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, but I mean, like you know, my I like tomatoes. Tomatoes, a good, f- fresh, perfectly done tomato, sun ripened. Thank you. Is their enjoyment mm. of that tomato any greater than mine? No. Uh, you might actually have bigger because yeah. your so, palate so, might you know, be better. And also the love, the, our family, our, our boy over there, our boy. He's not a boy. You know what do they say? My love of my son. You know what they say? My family. That, ah, go on. I just want to say that until, let's say, all your needs are met. So if you have a house, you have a good job. So this is about like 70,000 euro. On average, you would yeah. earn a year. Mm-hmm. Above that, your happiness does not increase very much because all your basic needs are met. So you have a house. I'd love to. Do you know what? I'd love to get a private, a private a jet, bigger. Daniel, and do it out like a Victorian, like inside, just like a Victorian <laughs> thing, you know, like with the old wooden furniture. <laughs> That's how you do it. You know, you walk in and get a mock fireplace. <laughs> or or even just like a Connemara, you know, just have all plastic and make it look like a little, <laughs> like a little. Have a wooden pipe. Yeah, yeah, you know, just a wooden pipe and a little Cayley band in the corner. That'd be fucking hilarious. And a li- like, a, you know, make it like an Irish pub. A shitty Irish pub in Barcelona with a group of GAA. Yeah, that's really tacky because you can. On the plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and also then you, there's no uh, border control. They don't st- they don't look in, in your bag. You can take anything you want on your plane. I just want to also quickly say, uh, oh, God. Well, well, I just want to say quickly about uh, this amazing documentary I, saw, documentary I saw about these kids from Brazil who uh, the eldest. Anyway, they were flying to see their dad. And the plane crashed. The three adults on the plane died. The four kids amazingly survived. The mother of the kids lasted a few days. Now, these kids were 
you know, indigenous. They grew on. They grew up on the edge of the jungle, so they knew their way around more so than you know city kids. <clears throat> so <clears throat> but how these do kids, they fly these to... ki- they had a little Cessna propeller airplane. Mm. These kids survived forty days in the jungle. Forty days, and the, the eldest was thirteen. The youngest was eleven month old baby, and then there was two six and seven year olds. But this kid, this this amazing, amazing, amazing person, she, she because she listened to her her grandmother who had this. You know, we talk about education, knowledge, wisdom. Yeah, I mean, it's I'll tell you, a lot of that. Down. Yeah, but but the thing is, when you're in that jungle, you know, uh, you, you know, there, there wouldn't be many people who could survive that long. So she wouldn't. She knew what fruits to eat, what fruits not to eat, you know, where to sleep, how to. Th- and and you know, it follows the rescuers trying to find them, and the rescuers were getting sick and so on. I mean, it just blew me away. Forty days, and they finally found. They finally children it's just extraordinary and the size have you seen the size of the amazonian rainforest i mean as we speak but i mean it's put four (laughs) irish kids in there where's the spar shop dead two minutes it was just (laughs) but i mean like i mean it would be amazing like how you know they look for herring (laughs) jesus christ they're looking for poppies oh well okay so the so that's a documentary i can't remember the name of it doesn't matter i can't remember the name of fucking anything so i did this post right uh, about because uh, I saw this interview with uh, Gerard Hutch, Hutch. who you the know, monk. aka the monk, uh, who denies ever being a crime boss and all that sort of stuff. But always it seems like you know um, always to be one step ahead of the guardie. And he did this uh, podcast with uh, Talent Nicola Talent, who is a journalist, yeah. and uh, she's a, she's actually a very good journalist. And I was watching it. <clears throat> uh, I, I sound a bit there like the monk there for a second <laughs> but anyway he, he does have the look of a, a look about him of a very good poker player you know it's hard to read anyway so I put this post together of him you know setting out his stall politically and then clips and then instead of uh, make America great again it was make Ireland deadly again right and it was like you know, but anyway Gerard Hutch contacted me <laughs> on my DMs and he said, hang on a sec, I'm just going to find it. And uh, you know, people can read you. Well, yeah, no, but he sent me uh, a, a, a private. Yeah, yeah, a private one. He says, David, how's David, how's things? <laughs> Gerard here. Appreciate the support. Much appreciated. Love your video. <laughs> and what did you say? Uh, I want to go inside your house and hang well, around. Well, well, now what I'm saying is now that he's DMing me, will I say, well, listen, well, uh, right now on this podcast, will, will we invite? Uh, yeah, yeah. Daniel, you up for it? Yes. <laughs> sure. So what, how will I, what will I say? You say, Gerard, we, we welcome you to our podcast. Hi, Gerard. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'd love to have you on. Uh, I'd love to have. Just our... leave your guns at home. <laughs> 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 Just, you're gonna Christ. be strip search before entering are we walking into the lion's den here well i mean look the guy no, the he, guy uh, what i'm trying to guy say is want to represent us the guy the we guy want the, him to tell his policies well i don't know? think he's a, uh, which constituency does he represent doesn't uh, matter in a city <laughs> okay well, oh, oh look he he's against uh pascal donahue yeah uh, hi jared i'd love uh, i'd love to invite Lou mcdonald I'd love I'd love you to come on our podcast. Claire okay, Daly? I, Hannah, do you want me to just I'd love you to Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but what, what am I going to say? Yeah, we, we welcome you to and share your policies and your vision of future for Ireland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how are we going to make it deadly again? Ah, uh, Hannah. Guns outside the house. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> because um we might have nuclear weapons here. So should we have the right to bear arms as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you guys stop talking like this? Because <laughs> uh, do I, I, I do with my ex-wife and two sons. The wife and two sons, it's called. <laughs> sons. It's called, well, I say it's called and that's why we're not together. Yeah. Uh, or maybe, yeah, uh, yeah, and that's why we're not together. Maybe you have some advice. <laughs> uh, how did your marriage survive all this strain? <laughs> because... Hannah, can you just talk about something else to Daniel? <laughs> because and talk, talk about something else. Hannah, you really are a ding dong. <laughs> 
Go on, talk about something else. Talk about what I else. Can't. Talk about something else. How are you, Hannah? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. How's Daniel? Talk about I, it. smoking I, grass or something. Go on. Uh, no, I don't smoke grass. No, t- Daniel's smoking grass. Oh, uh, Daniel's smoking grass. Oh, oh, yeah. We never <laughs> we never managed to go to uh, any smoking bar in Barcelona. Like, what do you call them? Those. Uh, yeah, kind of like, I don't know, like coffee shops. Yeah, but they or, they or just like clubs. Uh, cannabis clubs. Cannabis clubs. Yeah. yeah. So we never managed to do so. But apparently you go, it's very civilized. Yeah. They tell you what strain are there. And uh, should I say not not it's not a, a, a you know, uh not you very know. challenging. <laughs> not very challenging. Bally moon a level. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. You're going to feel like home. <laughs> Water guns? Allowed. <laughs> ah, Hannah, would you ever cop on? No, that's enough now, Hannah. <laughs> oh, oh that's my too God. far. <laughs> he said serious crap. Hannah, wh- 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 Hannah, what are you giggling? Very relaxed atmosphere. Okay, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? I, okay. Uh, okay, well, there you go. I, Look. I'm, I'm very giddy. I'm scared. No. <laughs> nah, well, what, listen, he's no, running, he's no. running for office. I mean, it, he's you know, running for office. I'm telling you, he's. He, you see, the people, okay, look, they uh, lost the moral Hi, ground. Gerard. I'd love you to come on our podcast, talk about your political ambitions. Very relaxed atmosphere. I do it with my ex-wife and two sons. It's cold and that's why we're not together. Cheers, David. Okay? Oh, beautiful. Right? Very friendly. Daniel? Yes, it's very good. Okay, there you go. Jack said he would even fly out for the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Yeah. How do you know? Oh, he, he said so. He said so. Okay. I mean, it's it's really interesting, you know, have a, have a criminal... In alleged, your home, alleged. alleged. Well, 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 Hannah, you know, if 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 a Gerard Hutch comes here, and let's say he looks at this, uh, I heard you call me a criminal. Uh, oh, I was joking. Jesus, well, oh, no. we have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was accused and all that, all that sort of stuff. But he's had a, he's had a, a rich and varied background. He's had quite a an interesting life. But anyway, the point is, uh, like, uh, but you know, he what, did are, what are the chances? What, 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 what are the ja- what are the bureau. chances of uh, uh, you know the monk uh, being elected and and, um, and the people that elect him or that vote for him is are they so fed up with the status quo? Quo are they so bored <laughs> with the platitudes that politicians come out with, um, and they don't look to politicians for any kind of moral guidance, and they just have had enough. And this is just their way of a protest vote and just, you know, <coughs> voting for Ger- Gerard Hutch is like, well, fuck off now, you know, deal with uh, this situation. My, my, or, or does he have <coughs> actual, does he have an actual, uh, you know, agenda? Well, I, I think he was talking about homeless people and, and uh, he was talking about the housing situation, which is a good thing to talk about. Yeah, but like, I'm not sure if he's got a plan. I would like to, I yeah. don't know. But I, I, I would even, like to even know people his with plan. a plan, like, like how, like, you know, when you think about politics, like, how does it affect us actually? I mean, really, you, the, you, the biggest person you should be depending on is yourself, 100%, you know? That's Definitely. It. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so that's, well, there you go, folks. Uh, that's big news. We've invited, uh, you know, Gerard, Jerry, Jerry Hutch, the AKA monk. the monk. Onto the podcast. Let's see how he responds. I mean, this is the kind of thing, and, and let's uh, tune in next week and find out what yeah, his answer and, you will know be. And I guess he should go on the podcast if he's running for political office because he has he to get should. his name out there, yes, right? Yes, and you know, yeah, follow yeah. Trump. Trump yeah. visit any podcast yeah. he was invited to. We, are we comparing? <laughs> are we comparing uh, uh, the Jerry Hutch to the Trump to Trump? No, but like you know. You know, he can uh, model himself on Trump. In a sense, Trump is very clever in uh, marketing himself. So um, Jerry has to market himself and, you know, visit as many people as possible. So uh, also uh, this is this civil case uh, versus criminal uh, against uh, Conor McGregor is coming to a close. Uh, So civil case versus criminal case. Do you know the difference? So, yeah, so cr- criminal, criminal matters concern the prosecution of criminal offences. Civil matters concern disputes between you and another person. OK, yes. Yeah, so, so in other words, uh, the government or <coughs> the deep 
PP, is it? The director of public prosecutions couldn't come up or couldn't find enough evidence to prove uh, the allegations against that, Conor McGregor. Uh, against that Conor he McGregor. Raped. So, so, so uh, that he that. Uh, but the, but this is a this is a civil case between two uh, di par parties or whatever. So, um, but it will be. So he, if he is found guilty, he will not go to jail. But uh, I assume uh, the, you know, in the United States, they will hear about it, and I'm sure it will affect his career. But um, yeah, let's let's uh, see what happens. So what what do you think? Cause well, I you see, this is the thing. That's why we have, uh, you know, uh, law. We we have, you know, you you mm. prove and you 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 uh, show. You show the evidence you have. I mean that 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 thing uh, I heard that there was. Um, uh, close circuit television footage of the girl who alleged that she was a, 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 raped, raped. By, by well okay <laughs> by by Conor McGregor uh, that the in, in the elevator c coming out of the hotel she was uh, you know holding on to him or something like that but but like uh, as we were talking uh, with Lindsay the other week uh, who knows how anyone reacts yeah. to, oh, to, maybe she was to, to a traumatized situation. So maybe she was just trying to placate and and and, mm. and uh, just uh, she was scared for her life and she was just trying to pretend what happened wasn't as serious as she knew it was. And she was trying mm. to kind of give the impression that she wasn't that bothered. And she was still, so she was so I, I don't see it, I, I hope the defense made at that point but maybe uh because uh, on the jury that's eight women and four <clears throat> four men so so uh, look um I, I, think, I think i think i think also i don't know but i i think also that she was offered a lot of money was she i don't know she was offered a lot of money to um to sign an, a non-disclosure agreement or something like that so she refused that so i mean the thing is i, I if you ask yourself what is in it for like people mm. people say like you know because that attention that you were that attention that you get from the public that that you were violated and that this happened to you it's it's uh it's not something that anyone would would ch choose like I, I i do i do tend to yeah it's not a thing you would go in front of public and willingly, you know, say that you were abused without any reason. That's how but it, you but would but think. it's uh, <clears throat> you know the I'm I'm trying I find it so difficult to talk about stuff like this. I I, I find it difficult because I don't want to misstep or miss because and also as a guy you know I don't, I don't feel it's like my place to be able to, but um. Uh, oh. I just uh, you have to tell the story of this coin because it's the funniest story. You know, you got the coin. It's a uh, it's a very old coin and it's, uh, you know, um, it's got color or what you call it. Yeah. And what did you try to do to it? Yeah, we just mm. polished it. OK, so uh, so this Hannah's pointing this out that this coin, it's a tetradrachm, I think it is. And mm, it's like Attica from Athens. it could be a 400, 500 BC. BC. So they had these silver strips and they had these stamps and they just clunk like this. And um, but I got it. I can't remember where I bought it. Oh, at the auction. I think you got in, it in uh, White's uh, Herman, and White. Herman, Herman Wilkins. No, probably not. But you went there to ask about the coin. Yes, and I had I had tried to clean the coin, it, but it thankfully the coin is so old that it didn't. I didn't really do. I couldn't really do a good job, so I didn't really fuck it up too badly. I mean, it's still got its. Yeah. You know what I mean? It still looks like an authentic. But but show part it, of the show it to the camera. Well, part of the authenticity of of a coin is that it should show its age. I don't know. You can't see it really. Sort of. Yeah. Sort of, and uh, we can take a picture. So, so anyway, um, th 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 yeah, the guy, the, I, what, what, what did they call them? Numer numero numerologist or something? Coin collectors. Yeah. He he went bright red. He was so like freaked offended. out. Offended. Offended. Yeah. He he. Yeah. By your uh, ignorance. Anyway, great story, Hannah. Well, you know, you didn't tell it make properly. The, you know, you didn't make the best out of it. Good. <laughs>
<laughs> I just got bored. Ah! Right through. Okay, ah! so. Okay, so uh, I'm I'm doing a gig tomorrow in Lucan, and then I'm doing a gig in Kerry in I N E C. Uh, going to Kerry, it's always like a, a land the time forgot. <laughs> it would be good to do a, uh, you know, like a, a like a like a good sci-fi about Kerry. You know what I mean? You drive and drive and drive, and then you reach Kerry, you reach the border, and it's just like this shimmer, and then you go through the shimmer, and it's like. <laughs> Because everything's backwards or something, or it's there'd like be dinosaurs, a, or be a steampunk. But there, there is a movie about Kerry. Remember, like an old movie from the I think seventies, and there's two tourists going around Kerry, and then they coming into the pub, but it's really raining, and they lost. They coming into the pub, and everybody, you know, they coming to the pub, and everybody is like, all of a sudden, silence. Yeah, and they. That they not being talked to, yeah, and they've been stared at, yeah, and it's the Kerry welcome. Well, look, there is a feature I've noticed with people from Kerry. What's there's the a, movie? there's a, there's a, they're they're very on guard. They're very guarded or something. Like I bumped into, I bumped into a neighbor of mine. I do like her actually, but she's she 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 make she's so like she's kind of like looking at you like this. Look, look, like like parent, and then. If somebody's like up with me, then it makes me feel like I am whatever they are acting as if I am or something like it. They make me feel like I'm uh, I'm an undercover CIA trying to find out things about them or something like they seem to be. And I wonder, is it is it a feature of our colonial past? You know, they just is it baked into their DNA that they have to be very wary of, you know, people. It's Can I just tell you, people in Kerry, the British have left. We're all on the same team. If we were invaded, we'd be fighting on the same side. Welcome us. Welcome you. Kerry people. They're human too. Kerry people like me and you. Kerry people. Can we all just say? Kerry people. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> Kerry people. Come on, honey. Get with it. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Ma. Uh, Do you know I, my I, uh, trainer from, my personal trainer from uh, Romania? Yes. Danny has a very high voice as well. David, oh, yeah? come and, on, will you and, stop messing around? And <laughs> how come you listen to her? It's funny, like it'd be because, really good to have uh, a serious... You know, because uh, you only listen to people who have voice like Russell Crowe. Oh yeah, yeah, well I've, I've finally matured as a person. But uh, no, I do like... <laughs> 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 what was the high point of your trip in Barcelona? A uh, high point? Um, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you got pissed the first night, didn't you? You were so hammered. Uh, yeah, but I'm not sure if it's a high point. Yeah, Maybe yeah. there was a low point. Um, anyway. I but, was so, uh, so nervous. You, so nervous. I don't know. I was so nervous for you or whatever. No, it's just... But like, were you very proud of me? Uh, yeah, it was, it was okay. It was good that you... What do you mean? Okay, were you proud of me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was proud of you. Were you proud of me? Yeah. Were you proud of Daniel? I was proud will we of give Daniel. Ja- will we give Jack a call? Sure. Cheers, Maria. What's that? I just want to find out a movie. Yeah. Made in yeah. Kerry. Okay, guys. It'd be good to have a superhero. It's like really, really tough looking. But uh, talk like this. Yeah. Not, but it looked like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to really but, hurt you now. But that's like David Beckham. Yeah. You know, David Beckham yeah. is such a good footballer, yeah. soccer player, and he his voice is like very high pitched. Okay, talk to me. I'll I'll do this for. This is Elmo. Go on, just talk to me. Uh, how are you feeling? Yeah, yeah. Um, what did you do today? I, I'm voting. I'm gonna vote for someone. Did you kick anyone today? I'm voting and for the monk. Oh, what yeah. do you think about monk? He's cr- he's great. <laughs> <laughs> he came to my door. He said, "Are you going to vote for me?" And I said, "Yeah." <laughs> Did he have guns? <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, you know, you know why monk is called monk? Oh yeah, and and that's the because other thing. You, you know why he's called monk? Why? Because of his. Um, you know, like a uh, very, what do you call it? Um, quiet. C- quiet life in uh, Clontarf. We'll, 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 we'll I, I just want to find out, what was that movie? It's a really famous movie, you know, like about tourists in uh, in Kerry. 
Daniel. Tourists, tourists in Kerry, Daniel. What are you talking you know, about? You know, just like know. two backpackers going around Kerry. They are Americans. And the way I experience Kerry countryside and Kerry people. Is it a film? Yeah, it is a film. It's like from 80s, I think. Versus from the 70s, 80s. So vague! I think it's uh, 80s. It's probably 80s. American Werewolf in London. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing that film. So good. <laughs> Which one? American Werewolf in London. American Werewolf in London. I, yeah. don't, I, I haven't seen it. No answer from Jared Hutch. <laughs> Okay, maybe he's asleep. Maybe he wakes up tomorrow and send us an answer. Waiting in anticipation. Patient. Patient. <laughs> uh, okay, so who else? If you're not voting for Monk... Oh God! Who uh, are you going to be It's funny. I don't for? know. Is it because I'm older? But uh, you know, a lot of the, uh, I'm I'm as old. <laughs> I'm the same age as a lot of the politicians. In fact, older than than them. And and to me, they're just so flibbity jibbity. You know, door squeaky, nothingness. And I mean, I don't know. Um, I, I I kind of kind of like Mary Lou McDonald a bit. Mm hmm. Why? Because she's got presidential hair star. Like you, like but you but like. uh, definitely, I mean, you know, Michal Martin, God love him, and the other guy, Simon Harris, who's who, who's the other? Who well, else? Michal are Martin, nearly, ca- nearly I know, too you know, you know, and, they, and and they think they're so important, you know, lepping around the place, kicking balls, and doing little <laughs> jigs, and it's just like yeah, guys, you're but just civil. Around. We should, we don't need to see them. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm not sure about. I'm, I, I don't. I don't know how mu- much. Like you know, it's the classic thing. It doesn't matter you, who you elect. Politicians always get in. They're all much. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, we're 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 we're. But sm- also, I, don't know. I think less and less policies are made in Ireland. Everything comes from Brussels. Mm. So Ireland has very very little to say. They are like lap dogs to. Uh, I mean, Brussels. maybe if uh, you know the if. The monk like got elected, you know. Maybe he'd clean up his 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 area. <laughs> Why is that funny? He's gonna clean it up. <laughs> you know, the like job a, is gonna be really clean, and he's gonna no. What I'm saying is, up. what I'm saying is, maybe he'll, he'll make the streets safer. <laughs> yeah, put a few more gangsters. <laughs> <laughs> and we can all live in terror. Oh, jazz. <laughs> Anyway, um, I, I like one of the politicians' taglines was uh, like, "Stop corruption," or <laughs> "or make crime illegal." Yeah, <laughs> right. It's, like it's the most obvious things. Like you know, uh, racism is bad. Uh, we kind of knew that. You know, no, mate. but also racism is is you know, crime is already illegal. You can't make yeah, it illegal. Exactly, yeah. Crime what did, is what did he say? Corru- right, cri- yeah, make make corruption illegal and make crime illegal. But it's already <laughs> illegal. No, but what was his? What was the guy's? Uh, uh, I can't remember his name now. No, but what was it again? <laughs> Just m- m- make crime illegal. He said that. Yeah, on his poster, it says he's it on ta- his poster. You know, like his huh? slogan. You know, the don't poster. go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, he's that's actually a, slo- <clears throat> yeah, a, a slogan. Po- yeah, on his poster. That's a slogan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's not. It is. Yeah. Oh God, I should do a post about the <laughs> stupid pictures that we're all subjected to. These, these, these are. <laughs> You know, uh, M- Michael Murphy, <laughs> for, you know, and then, you know, Emer, Emer O'Shaughnessy. <laughs> it's just like, Jesus. And there's a Jim, uh, Jim uh, Callahan. Callahan. He's got the same poster for like yeah. 10 or 15 years. How many? Four years, every four years. So like 12 years. He's got the same poster. He doesn't age. Hmm. Oh, and he's Miriam O'Callaghan's brother. And Miriam McCallaghan, I have to say, Miriam McCallaghan wanted to borrow my shoes. It's just like four years ago, Hannah. I know, but I still <laughs> can get over it. So what if she wanted to borrow your shoes? You see, you can't see it. Because she's you're working on it as a team and she's in front of camera and she thinks... Yeah, she, yeah. she's earning like 250,000 euro and she's got like costumes and she's got like array of shoes 
But because she's high he- on high <laughs> heels and she wants to, you know, look flat, you know, look shorter with her partner. I what mean, she is she is she good, Mary McConnell? I've never really seen her. I mean, is she good pol- political interviewer? I think she does good interviews, especially on Sunday with with her guests. Mm. You know, she's got guests and she's like she's she's really nice to them and mm. you know, like make them feel comfortable. Um, okay, so well, I didn't tell my story, but what's anyway. your story? <laughs> what about, about it? Miriam McCallan borrowing your shoes? Yeah, she she wanted, you know, we had a feud, you know. It's like she, we were just before broadcasting, and then she looks at my shoes and she says, "Hannah, what size are your shoes?" Yeah. And I'm saying forty, and she says, "I need those shoes." Ireland needs those shoes because we started. Yeah. We're gonna did, you, be did, you, did you give them to her? No, because I look at her feet full of bunions and my. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake, Hannah, why did you give her the fucking shoes, Hannah? Because it's for the fu- it's for the better thing of the. It's for yeah, the hu- yeah. And then um, and that was then the I'm, same bullshit that I had to go through with you with that with that uh, <laughs> Lucaside thing. And listen, and then I'm looking at my Donna Karen New York shoes, and I'm saying. Those feet will not fit into my shoes. Anyway, and what and did so she what did she say? We stare at each other and I'm just like, Miriam, I'm not going to give you my shoes. So I got a costume. I said, Hannah, because she can be quite forceful. Yeah, go on. She says, Hannah, the country needs you. Yeah, your country needs your <laughs> shoes. And did you give them your shoes? No. Hannah, why are you laughing? You're weird. <laughs> so Hannah, calm down. You should have given that. You should have given her. You didn't. You didn't get it. I did win. Yeah, she probably. probably, I didn't. You probably. You'd probably be a lot further up on the RT ladder if you had given them your shoes. It's funny. uh, It just reminds (laughs) me that time when I used to do the warm up on the Late Late Show. Uh, you, you know Daniel Daniel was very young I guess it was in the early 2000s and so you know I'd go on do 20 minutes or whatever before Pat Kenny this is when Pat Kenny was hosting the Late Late Show and upstairs there was a green room and you could get free drinks and I was drinking at the time so it was before yeah, yeah, 2003 yeah. <laughs> so um, no it was I was you, know, you, were, you were drinking 2003 as well N- yeah but I stopped no oh yeah, d- yes that's right I, just st- yeah, I stopped yeah I was sorry. at a few parties and I I, just, I stopped December the 8th 2003 and the reason I remember that date is because December the 8th uh, uh, 1980 was when John Lennon was uh, murdered okay? okay terrible date I remember I was 15 I, I remember I was up in my room when I found that I can't remember how, how, maybe I wasn't up in my room because there would have been no internet or anything or I didn't have a phone I didn't just kind of just it was in my room and I go John Lennon's been it. shot okay just listen get a message. anyway December the 8th so my point is uh, we'd be up in the green room and there was free booze. So I, I was drinking and I was pissed. And at one night I got so pissed and I, and I tried to do a shortcut out of RT across the, the little garden and then over the wall or whatever. But anyway, I, I, I didn't know. I think I was I got stuck in a bush. I was so hammered drunk. And then this uh, limousine <clears throat> drives by and stops. Window comes down. <laughs> and it's Pat Kenny. <laughs> Dave, get into the car. I'm taking you home. So he was very kind. That's so sweet. It was very <laughs> sweet, uh, and it was very sweet, like like the fact that he actually dropped me home. You know what I mean? To Leeson Street, and uh, so a nice man, a good man, nice. Pat's very nice. Pat is very nice now. So thank you, Pat Kenny, mm. for that. Oh, and maybe I shouldn't be speaking about Miriam O'Callaghan because I'm going to see her. No, because I agree with Miriam O'Callaghan. You should have absolutely given it. You, you were in the wrong. You Miriam O'Callaghan. Were, no, hang on a second. So when no, your country not, calls. No, but it's not. Wait a second. Hanya, wait. Hannah. She had a pair of shoes. No, she's wrong. You're wrong. Mm. I actually do totally 100% agree with Miriam O'Callaghan uh, because she's doing a, a, a t- what is a TV show. And don't give me that look. Look, look at this. Excuse, Excuse me. Excuse me. What's Excuse the okay? What's me. the show she's doing? Prime time. Oh, whatever. She's okay. She's got like hours. Well, anyway, she's doing a to team. Be pre- prepared. Yeah, but sometimes you don't. She's got a costume. Are you? People. There's no I in team. Are you a team player? The woman is going on air. She needs it right now. Are you a team player? Yeah, got it. Here are the no, shoes. No, I'm Hannah not comes a up. fucking Thank team player. If you pay me two hundred and fifty thousand euro, I'm your fucking team player. That makes no player. sense. You don't get paid two hundred. 
Listen, team players, we all have the same contribution. You pay me that money, I give you the you shoes. You don't get paid 250,000 for lending someone your shoes. It's just a no, decent a thing. She's a team work- player, team a- player. So we are having a certain roles. Okay, she's a work colleague. Just lend her. Hannah, I'm shocked. I'm You're shocked. such a good person. <laughs> and you know what? Did you, because you didn't like the shape of her feet. Because, like, you know, like, they're not going to fit in my shoes. How do you know? She said size 40. Yeah, but, like, I see she has more than 40. <laughs> She's like 40. She's, well, she got big, big, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, what, what's that guy you see in the in the mountain, Daniel? The Sasquatch. Bigfoot. Bigfoot. What's well, she Bigfoot? Jesus Christ. OK, <laughs> Miriam McCallaghan, if I was in that position and the choice was mine, you would have had my shoes straight away. Although I'm size 11, so I'm a great deal bigger than you. <laughs> and also, check those gains, girls. Woo-hoo! <laughs> well, I mean, the, I tell you, this podcast is getting very exciting. We've put out an invitation to Gerard Hutch. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. the monk running for election. He, he may or may not come on this podcast, but we, we have balls. We have guts. We don't shy away from the difficult issues uh, of the day. Uh, we're not like these other podcasts. Like, I mean, the two Johnnies. Do you think they'd have the hutch on? No. Are oh, you fucking joking me? I hey, well, what's your favorite biscuit? Fuck off. OK, listen. What, what a blind boy. Blind boy. He would not. Take the bag off your head and then I'll see you talk to you. I'm not talking to a man with a bag on his head. I'm on the spectrum. <laughs> well, how, how, how long have we been broadcasting now? 48 minutes. <laughs> That's it? That's enough. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay, uh, folks. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Like or subscribe. It's, it's, that's, that's like saying like us or don't like us. Oh, uh, yeah. But do we have a Patreon page yet? By us, uh, Lucas Aid? No? Oh, I don't know. It's not there yet. I mean, like, why? Okay, okay. I tried to call Jack, by the way. Will I give him one last sh- shot? Yeah. Oh, I think she- it's a bit late, though. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, it's like 11. Well, he would have rang back. Okay. Uh, folks, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. We love doing it. I love working with my son, my prince, the future of this country, Daniel. Mm-hmm. My son, Daniel. He is the future. I know, but like, you know, like, oh, God, David. <laughs> and Hannah... No, you can't borrow my shoes, Andrews. <laughs> mean spirited. I'm I'm Team Miriam all the way. <laughs> she's yeah. gonna love you. Yeah, she's right. She is right. Absolutely. You are the only person. Who's oh, I totally on agree with Miriam. Side. I'm totally on her side. I think you should go and I, live no, with her. No, I don't need to live with her. Okay. Uh, have a great weekend. Uh, see you, by the way, in Kerry. I N E C Kerry this Friday. Come on, Kerry people. We're on the same side. We eat the same food. We breathe the same air. We sound different, but there's no, you know, we're not. We, 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 there's more that in common than, you, than, than, you, than, than divides us. I, you know, I think I mean, the I mean, air in Kerry is much cleaner than here. And, ja- you know, like, and by the way, <clears throat> Jackie Healy Ray is not the only person. You know, wack the wack the wack, suck the wack the him not three car who is a sag. Wave goodbye, Hannah. Bye. <laughs>